Hey. Hey, Mike. 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 Hey, come here. Good morning, boys. Wonderful morning, isn't it? Oh, Listen. sure. Hey, what are you doing with our car yet? Oh, nothing. Just riding a little ticket. But well, Mike, you, you wouldn't do that to us. We're your pals. Yeah, we love you like our brothers. Oh, no, you don't. You hate me. But I don't hate nobody this morning. Oh, I'm in a wonderful mood. You want to know why? No. Yes, I'd like to know why. What's the occasion? Well, here, I'll show you. <laughs> What's that? that? <laughs> what is it? It's a diamond engagement ring. What is it? It's like a grain of sand. Ah, it's beautiful, Mike. Who's the lucky girl? Oh, well, I ain't gonna tell you yet. <laughs> I haven't even told her yet. But I'm going to this morning. Boy, is she in for a surprise. Well, you're a regular fellow, Mike, and you're deserving of the best. Yeah, well, thanks a lot. Okay, Mike. Well, wait a minute. I, Here, I, I almost forgot your ticket. It's a wonderful day, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> yes. Hello, Stella, honey. Hello, Mike. Do you imagine seeing you here? Oh, well, you see me here every morning. Yeah. <laughs> and, and speaking of morning, isn't it a beautiful morning? Oh, it sure is a beautiful morning. I just love beautiful mornings. They're so, so... Beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you always seem to take the words right out of my mouth. It's funny. You always seem to know just what I'm thinking. <laughs> But you don't know what I'm thinking of right now. <laughs> don't get fresh now. Oh, now, Miss Larson, my intentions are strictly honorable. Look. <laughs> For me? Yeah, isn't it pretty? Gee, is that a real diamond? Sure, it's a real diamond. It cost me 47 bucks. Oh, gee, and it ain't even my birthday or nothing. <laughs> well, that's an engagement ring. Engagement? You mean engagement to be married? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't think maybe I should, I should take it. I... Well, there better not be anybody else, because if there is, I'll... Well, no, Mike, no, there, there isn't anybody else. It's just that, well, I got a good job, and, and I, and I got to be getting back to my job, and, and, well, look, I'll, I'll keep the ring and let you know when I see you tonight, huh? All right. Bye. Bye, Stella. <laughs> You know, that parking ticket costs us $15. How are we going to pay the room rent? You know what the landlord's going to say to us? I know it by heart. Sure, you know. It's a lucky thing for us we've got Mr. Field for a landlord. He's a very lenient man. Yes, he is. A nice fellow. Any other landlord would have thrown us out. Hmm? That's all right. I think maybe we can uh, make a deal. Oh, fine. Oh, uh, Mr. Scudder, uh, these are two of my tenants, Mr. Bud Abbott and Mr. Lucas Stella. Boys, Mr. Scudder may be your new landlord. Yeah. You mean you're selling out? Possibly. We haven't closed the deal yet. I trust these uh, gentlemen are satisfactory tenants. Pay their rent promptly? We sure do, the minute we get it. <laughs> he means that they pay the minute they get their statement. <laughs> yes, indeedy. I doubt. I doubt if any landlord has ever had tenants just like these two boys. Good. Prompt payment of rent is one thing I insist upon in all my apartment houses. Come the first of the month, they pay or get out. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> if Mr. Field sells his place to that old skin flint, we're dead. How do you like the guy he's going to sell it to? He wants us. We should pay our rent on a first. Well, when you find people like that, come in. Uh, boys. Mr. Mr. Fields, you put us on a terrible spot with what you're doing. Don't blame me, boys. I, I don't want to sell this place, but I, I simply got to. I calls it a dirty trick. Mr. Fields, if you have to sell the place, why don't you sell it to some old dope? Some old dope like this. It's money we can get it for you, maybe. We'll borrow it. We'll do, we'll do anything to save this proposition. I'm in real serious trouble. I, I tell you, boys, I'm being sued for a hundred thousand dollars. To breach a promise. <laughs> oh, well, I, I wrote this woman some letters, and I guess I... I, I kind of made it sound like a proposal, and uh, she heard I had some money, and... She got me hooked. I don't know. The only way for me to get out of this thing is to just, oh, go out of town uh, somewhere where she can't fight. Oh, Tahiti or any place. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't jump at conclusions like that. There's a way out of these things. Now, listen, Mr. Fields, wait if he gets an idea, if he gets an idea, it's going to be good. If you've got an idea that'll get me out of this, I'll guarantee you boys free room rent for the rest of your lives. What is it? Wait a minute. Now, just a minute. Let me think. I have an idea. Uh, what I tell you? He sure. gets an idea. He gets an idea, brother. Keep out of there. You talk. Talk. No. Now, wait a minute. 
There's no doubt she's marrying you for your money, am I right? Well, now just a minute. Suppose you introduce her to another man with more money than you've got. It might work. But who would the other fella be? You, you get the idea? Yes. He, he introduces some guy to her who has more money than him. He proposes, she accepts. He's out of the jam, am I right? You, you, see what, you see what Evan yeah. means? You see what Evan we means? We've got to get another guy to do this. We've got to get another guy, see, like he, he says. We get another guy to go propose to that woman. And when it proposes That's to that woman, right away, fast, you got no worries, you're out. <laughs> you got. You. <laughs> such a good idea. Come on, Abbott. Mr. Fields, I want you to meet Mr. Lou Costello, one of the wealthiest oil men from Texas. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a Texas oil millionaire. The lucky guy you are. And you're going to have your chance. Mr. Fields is paying for everything. Clothes, entertainment, and a swell car to drive around in. Yeah, but don't overdo it. And don't get the feeling that you really are a millionaire with my money. Well, Mr. Fields, now you've got to make it look good. If you want uh, this dame to fall for Costello, you've got to make it look as though he's rolling in money. Okay, but will you roll kind of easy? After all, I've got over $300 sunk in this thing. Now I'm not sure it's going to work. Oh, it'll work all right. Stop worrying. Why, he's all but married to the dame right now. Ooh. Wait a minute. You, you didn't say anything about marriage? Oh, uh, that's my mistake. I mean, uh, you're all but engaged to her. Besides, after she finds out you've got no money, she wouldn't marry you anyhow. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh. There's a lot of women want me to get married. Name one. My mother. <laughs> now, one thing, boys. I can't introduce you to this woman because she might get suspicious. You'll have to figure out some way to meet her. Well, that should be easy. You say she lives at the Milo Arms Apartments. That's right, exactly. Now, every afternoon, at precisely three o'clock, she comes out to take her little dog for a walk. And you can't miss him. Mm -hmm. It's a little dog, a little white dog, with a blue ribbon bow around its neck. Good, we've got it. Leave everything to us. Come on. Now, sit still. She was such a good, good doggy. You're going for a nice long walk. Oh, Stella. I'm expecting my attorney. Before you leave for the day, would you mind taking Fifi for her walk? Oh, yes, ma'am. And be careful. Oh. Well, do you know what you're supposed to do? I got it. Now, I'm going to the pool room and get a guy. You'll flirt with her when she comes out. Uh, if he gets too persistent, uh, you play the hero and come to her aid. I push the guy in the nose and then he falls down. That's the idea. See, and you're in right with the dame and we're off to the races. Now, look. Tell the guy when I punch him in the nose and he falls down, tell him to make her look good. He'll do that. Well, Wild Red Berry. Well, hello, bud. Say, how would you like to make a couple of fast bucks? Sure, what I gotta do? Oh, just take a, a punch and a fall. Well, I don't know. I usually get five bucks for that. Give you three bucks. Let's go inside and talk it over. Do you mind? No, I don't mind. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Only he's a she. I mean, uh, she's a her. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's her. Um, her name is Cece. Just a minute, partner. Where I all come from down in Texas, we don't allow men to talk to our women folks like that. Scram, Buster. Yeah, what is this? Excuse me, fair lady. What you all need is a lesson. <laughs> hey, Buster, don't forget when they hit you, fall down, fall down, fall. As I said before, what you all need is a lesson. <laughs> Hello there, lady. Just a minute. Pardon me, my fair cactus flower from the prairie land. Listen, you. <laughs> How was that? Good, huh? Yeah, you are all right. Here's your three bucks. See, thanks. But the next time you need me, you're going to pay me more dough because that guy's got a terrific wallet. <laughs> Ain't you? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> What's happened? What went wrong? I don't know, but I'm going home. You're not going any place. I did exactly like you told me. I come up to the guy. I didn't know it was the wrong guy, and he kept belting me around. Wait a minute. We're going to try this all over again. She's over at the park. Come on. No, no. Come on. <laughs> Howdy, ma'am. You again. Yes, ma'am. I can't stand seeing men annoy women, lady. Down in Texas, where I got all my oil wells, we don't stand for any man annoying a woman. Gee, do you really have oil wells? Ma'am, I got so many oil wells, I don't know really how many I got, but I know I got a lot of big oil wells that got little oil wells. Gee, I always wanted to meet a big oil man from Texas. I beg your pardon, sir. But I think at best I take your car to the service station. It's run out of gas. Kenyon, just don't bother. Throw it away and buy a new one with gas in it. But, sir, <laughs> you've already thrown away three cars this week. What good are they without gas? Go, go, Kenyon. Go, go. Yes. Are you going to throw that car away? Well, why don't you give it to somebody? Oh, lady, it's a little dusty and dirty. I don't want to give a dirty car away. When I give a car away, I like to give a new car away. Gee, you must have an awful lot of money. Billions, maybe, huh? Well, to tell you the truth, I got so much money, I got ten men that stay up all night long just counting how much money I got. And for ten years, lady, they have yet to catch up to the oil wells. <laughs> Ain't you married? Oh, no, man. I'm not married. Women sort of scare me. I believe they're after my money. Oh, well, I don't think money would make any difference if a girl really liked a man. I mean, that is, unless, of course, he didn't have any. <laughs> no, ma'am. You're a girl after my own heart. And if you keep a talking the way you're talking, you're going to get it. Shoot, little rascal. How long would it take you to go, a rabbit, like that? <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Hale. Rabbit. Well? How did it go? Did Costello meet her? Did he meet her? Why, she took to Costello like a fly takes to honey. You've got nothing to worry about. Abbott, if I get out of this thing, I'll never write another letter as long as I live. Uh, you're going to write one more letter. To her? To her. You see, even though Costello gets engaged to her, she could still claim that you jilted her. What you've got to do is make her throw you over. Well, how can I do that? Just write her a letter and tell her that you want to marry her. Let her set the day. Are you sure? Sure, I am sure. Do as I tell you. You can't go wrong. Okay, Mr. Abbott, I'll do it. Swell. Oh, Lou. Lou! Lou! Lou, what's the matter? She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. T t tell me what happened. She looked into my eyes. Everything went blank. Lou, don't tell me you've fallen for that gold digger. Don't you dare call her a gold digger. Kenyon, another remark like that and I'll have you replaced. I'm sorry, sir. I... Now, tonight's the night you propose to her. I don't know how to propose to any girl. I wouldn't know what to say. I've got it all written down in this book. All the dialogue's in there. Okay, give me the book. Now, look. Mr. Fields has spared no expense. When you get to the cafe, it's all set up for you. He's created a, a real romantic uh, flavor, a real romantic uh, scene now. Man. See, that Mr. Fields is sure good to me. Not to you. This is for him. Now, if she should accept your proposal, uh, give her a kiss. For Mr. Fields. For Mr. Fields. And we'll have someone snap a picture of it so that Mr. Fields has the evidence. I feel like such a stool pigeon. Why should you feel that way? Didn't she try to shake Mr. Fields down? She's got it coming to her. I don't know whether she has or not. She's such a beautiful girl. She's so innocent and just so nice, buddy boy. Oh, stop that now. Do you understand what to do? I'm going to never trust another woman as long as I live. Good. Now, come on. She's waiting for you. Well, hey. what's that? The car sergeant you wanted, sir. 
Oh, it's beautiful. That habit on the bowl. Oh, Louis. You like it, Stella? You know, Louis, you do the sweetest thing. You'd make some girl very happy. You and all those oil wells. Would you pin it on? I'd be delighted. You, Stella, darling? I would do most of it. Oh, oh! Excuse me, Stella. I uh, didn't know quite what you meant, Stella. Now, let me see there. Was there something else you wanted to ask me, Lewis? There sure is, Stella, darling. Something very important. Oh, yes. You have the most magnificent eyes I ever saw on a girl, Stella. Well, I mean, was there something else, Lewis? Something else, Stella, darling? Yes, there is, Stella, darling. There is something else. I would... I got it. I would like to ask you, Stella, if you all would marry me. Oh, Lewis. Oh. Mm. Lightning. <laughs> Field. Ah, good morning, boy. Have we got good news for you? Yes. Oh, what news, Mr. Fields? What news? She fell for Casella like a ton of bricks. Boys, that's wonderful. Oh, that's nothing. We've, that. got, we've got a picture of her kissing Costello. Really? How do you like that? Pretty good, huh? And she wants to marry me. Yeah. Uh, you mean she wants to marry all those oil wells she thinks you own? Now, wait a minute, Mr. Fields. I don't believe she's a gold digger. She's very sweet and very cute and I like her, too. Of course, that's what you think. She's a slick one, all right. Oh, uh... I wrote that letter like you told me. Are you sure I'm doing the right thing? Certainly. Here, mail that. Got no stamp on it. Get a stamp. Put it on there. Of course, there's something. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, Mike. What's the matter with you? Well, everything's the matter. I've been double-crossed by a rat. What'd he do? Stole my girl. That's what he did. But I'll find him. I'll find him, and when I do, I'll tear him apart with my own hands. Mike, I know exactly how I'd feel if it was my girl. And I got a girl. She's a beauty. Want to see her picture? No, I don't want to see no pictures of no other girls. Mike, this girl is beautiful. This is me kissing her in a nightclub. Take a look at it. No, no, no. Why don't you go on back to your horse? I got a murder to figure out. <laughs> An expense list. Thirty-five dollars for an orchid corsage? Well, it was a big one. And tips, fifty dollars. Well, Costello's a big man. You can't nickel and dime this thing. Well, know. maybe you're right. Maybe it'll be worth whatever it costs to get rid of that woman. Ah, uh, you see, you're talking sense, but hey, you know a funny thing about that woman? I th I think that Costello's really fallen in love with her. Oh, wait a minute. Even Costello can do better than that. Oh, boy, is she fat. Oh, now, wait a minute. I didn't think she was so fat. Well, maybe she's been on a diet since I last saw her. Here. Uh, well, get a look at this. <laughs> That's Stella? <laughs> Stella? Her name is Eloise. Uh, yeah, I meant, I meant Eloise. 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 Uh, yes, I didn't recognize her. She must have taken off some weight. Yes, uh, yeah, that's Eloise. Well, you know, I'm anxious to know the outcome of that letter. Yeah, me too. I'll, I'll be seeing you.
all the dumb guys in this world, you are the dumbest. What did I do now? What did you do? You proposed to the wrong woman. That Stella Dame is not the one that's suing Mr. Fields. Wait a minute. What? You mean Stella? She's not a gold digger? Certainly not. You ought to be ashamed of yourself the way you insult that Stella. Now, wait a That's a nice girl. I like Stella. Now, wait a minute. I'm glad she's not a gold digger. Just take it easy. That's not the worst of it. Uh, uh, by the way, that letter. That letter that Mr. Letter. Fields wrote. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wrote 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 wait, wait a minute. Is that the letter? Yeah. Get that letter out of there. You told me to mail it. Get that letter out of there. Why should you tell me to mail it? I said get that letter out of there. Get that letter out of there. Get that letter. Out of there. Get that letter. Get the letter. I think it's easy. Oh, Something what a mess this is. Get the letter out. Get it out. I can't get my hand down. I don't care. Get it in. Come on, get that letter. Give me that letter. Oh, buddy, buddy, I can't even get the hand out. Where do you get these kind of ideas? Put your hand in the mail. Get the mail. We've got to get it. I'll go and get some tools. Don't go away. Don't go away. Where am I gonna go? You should put the letter in there. Put the letter in there. Get the letter out. Get the letter out. Uh-oh. What are you doing in this mailbox? I'm, I'm mailing my cell phone parcel post. <laughs> Officer. Stool pigeon. Oh, it's you, huh? Trying to rob the mailbox, huh? No, I'm not. This is really going to go tough on you. Look, Mike, I dropped the letter in there by mistake. I'm trying to get it out. Listen, don't you know that the minute you put a letter in a mailbox, it becomes the property of the United States government? This means Alcatraz for you. <laughs> okay, I'll take care of him. Look, Mike, you don't understand. And I, I might as well warn you that anything you say will be held against you. Now, I'm going to call the wagon. You wait right here. Think I am Houdini. Where else am I gonna go? I got my hand. Lewis. Hiya, partner. Oh, Stella, I got my hand caught in the mailbox. Oh, well, that's terrible. Take the half of it. Huh. Going out, get dressed. Oh, is that where we're going on our honeymoon? <laughs> where is it? I don't know where it is. Oh, well, Lewis, I don't care where it is, as long as you're with me. <laughs> I couldn't sleep a wink last night for thinking about you and all those oil wells. And thinking about my beautiful name, Stella Costello. <laughs> and you know, you may not believe it, but you're really the only male I've ever loved. Mail, mail, mailbox, take it to And you know, up. the first thing I did this morning was to send back my ring and break off my engagement. You were engaged? Oh, well, he don't mean nothing. Mike's just a policeman. Oh, Mike the cop. I mean... <laughs> Mike the cop. But, get, get out. Stella, go, but go. But he don't mean nothing. Stella, I don't mean a thing to... Go on, Stella, get out. Get out. Mike the cop. I don't want to trouble with Mike the cop. But you're the one I've only really loved. Stella, I don't... Keep going. What do you have to trouble with Mike the cop? But he's got to know sometimes. Let him find out. I'm not... Oh, please. Stella, get out. Stella, get it out. That's right. And hurry up. He went that way. Stella, darling. Hello, Mike. Oh, but Stella, I... Hey, what happened to the little guy that was here? You mean my fiancé. No, I... What? Are you making reference to my fiancé, Mr. Louis Costello? Him? Why, that little rat. <laughs> that snake in the grass. That lowlife. Wait till I get my hands on him. Have you seen Costello? When I get my hands on him, I'll strangle him. Well, what happened? What, what happened? Look at this. Look at this. What's that? That's a summons. That's what it is. A summons to appear in court. I'm being sued. Oh, I can explain You that. can explain nothing. You told me that woman promised to marry Costello. You forced me to write that letter. When I got this summons, I phoned that woman. She said she'd never even heard of Costello. She wants to marry me. But look, I... Where's Costello? I don't know. I'm looking for him myself. Not half as much as I'm looking for him. <laughs> Wait a minute, Mike. Wait a minute, Mike. Wait a minute. Look. I got a stamp on me, and I'm in the United States mailbox, and you know if you tamper with the mail, you know what that means, Alcatraz. <laughs> you can't 
Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm the male, right? 